In this video, we're learning about vector graphics, how they work, and how to create them using shapes and paths. Vector graphics are made up of two parts in Rive, shape and path layers. Vectors are rendered on shape layers. They define the style of the shape using properties in the inspector like fills and strokes. The actual form of a vector is defined by paths. By expanding a shape layer, you can find the paths that are creating the shape. You can add new paths to a shape by dragging and dropping an existing path onto the shape layer or by creating a custom path under a pre-existing shape. Now that you know about shape and path layers, we can start creating and customizing shapes. Procedural paths are defined by their procedural properties such as width, height, points, or corner radius. Rectangles, ellipses, stars, polygons, and triangles are all procedural paths. To create a procedural path, activate one of the path tools from the Create Tools menu or by using the respective shortcuts. Now, click and drag on the stage to define the size of the path. Note that both the shape layer and path layer are created. Select the shape layer to modify the fill and stroke. Select the path layer to edit the procedural properties of a path, including height, width, size, origin, and corner radius. Rectangles allow you to change the corner radius uniformly or individually by unchecking the lock icon. You can add as many path layers under the shape as you want, allowing you to build up complex shapes made up of multiple paths. As a quick tip, hit enter with a shape selected. This will select the first path under your shape. Hit escape to go back up the hierarchy and select the shape again. If you hit enter with a procedural path selected, the procedural path will be converted into a custom path and you'll be able to edit the vertices of that path, which we'll cover in just a moment. Create custom paths either by converting a procedural path to a custom path or by using the pen tool. Activate the Pen tool in the Create Tools menu, or by using the P key. Once activated, start drawing in your artboard. Click to create a straight point, or click and drag on the stage to create a curved one. When Edit Vertices mode is active, you may notice that the first vertex looks different than the others. This vertex indicates the winding of the path, which will come into play as you begin adding more path layers to a shape, or when you begin to use the trim path. Keep an eye out for future videos where we'll talk about Trim Path. When you're finished, hit the Done Editing button in the Inspector or press Enter or Escape on your keyboard. Unlike procedural paths, custom paths don't have animatable width and height properties. This is because their dimensions are determined by the position of the vertices that comprise the path. Closed paths are shapes that share a start and end point. When you add a stroke to them, the stroke renders all the way around the shape. An open path has a start and end point at different coordinates. When you add a stroke to an open path, you'll see that the stroke only renders from the starting point to the end point. You can open a closed path by activating Edit Vertices mode and using the Open Path button in the Inspector. Conversely, you can close an open path by hitting the Close Path button. You can edit the vertices of a path by going into Edit Vertices mode. With the path layer selected, hit Enter on your keyboard to activate the mode. With Edit Vertices activated, you can now reposition each vertex, change curve handles, or modify the corner radius of specific vertices. Remember, when you edit the vertices of a procedural path, you'll lose the procedural properties like width, height, star radius, or number of edges. You can always hit Undo if you want to get those properties back. That's it for Shapes and Paths. We'll explore many of these topics again in more depth at a later time. In the next video, we'll be looking at the pen tool and how to use it effectively to create custom shapes. See you in the next video.